Okay, I hope this can be a fairly straightforward case. Here is a picture of a gallbladder, uh, possibly in surgery, in which you could see the wall is starting to be opened, and you could see that the external surface is not only very red and hemorrhagic, but is slightly yellowish, like there might be exudate or fibrin or pus on the surface. This case is called acute cholecystitis. Notice that there is some junk inside the gallbladder and when we open it up even more this winds up being a combination of sludge, bile, pus, fibrin, and you can also see that the yellowish fibrinous exudate uh, extends uh, through the wall to the surface and parts of the surface is surface is also very hemorrhagic. Well let's take a slide through that and put it under the microscope and we might see something like this. And uh, let's make this case as simple and as quick as possible. If you remember in the last case we had chronic esophagitis and chronic inflammation uh, as anywhere in the body the chief cell of infiltrate is a lymphocyte or perhaps a macrophage or histiocyte. In acute inflammation of everything, in this case acute cholecystitis, the chief cell of inflammation is the neutrophil. So let's look. Here is obviously the lumen of the organ. Here's a thickened wall and here's the outer perhaps peritoneal surface. And uh, let's just kind of describe it and we might as well start from the inside well the first thing that you could see is that that nice little sort of papillary array of columnar cells is considerably uh, disrupted and you can see that there are free uh, exudates of this cellular and fibrinous material out in the lumen you can also see as with acute inflammation is that the blood vessels directly underneath the epithelium are very much uh, dilated as well. This is all part of the acute inflammatory process. Note that the muscular wall also looks like it might be stippled with inflammatory cells and let's see if we could uh, confirm that. Yes we can. You can see that these uh, inflammatory cells also are interspersed throughout the uh, muscular layers as well, as well as uh, throughout the mucosa and as well as in the space between the uh, epithelium and the muscle layers and all throughout the wall. And here we are going now, as you can see over here, towards the outside. You can see the dilated blood vessels, the hemorrhage, the infiltrates of uh, acute inflammatory cells and this pretty much extends all throughout the entire uh, wall of the gallbladder. This is a gallbladder which uh, has the risk of rupturing because this inflammatory process is transmural and because you see probably some flat mesothelial like cells out here on the uh, serosa. This could probably be a part of the gallbladder that was covered by serosa rather than the part of the gallbladder that's kind of tucked against the uh, fossa of the liver. And you can probably bet that some of this granular stuff can very well be fibrin and you can also bet that most of these inflammatory cells like there, 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 there. They're all neutrophils. This is acute cholecystitis. Thank you very much.